So if we start this um, video straight from the beginning, we go all the way up to the top. You can see I uh, hung up my headset so I could keep track of it, won't make a mistake and sit on it. Um, here's my uh, controller center, got two controllers. I swear by the uh, Titanfall uh, one for the Xbox one. Here's my uh, tablet, my Surface. Uh, no, not the Surface 3, I can't afford that. Uh, this is the um, RT. Um, just use it for some basic functions. Um, most of the computers I got in the house, um, I can connect to them remotely. Sometimes I do that right from here. Um, so here's the uh, top of the cabinet. Now this cabinet, by the way, is right from IKEA. Um, you just have to kind of configure it yourself. This isn't the way it ordinarily is configured. I configured it this way with the two glass doors and the uh, push button inserts on the side when you close the doors. Um, if you notice, this is the Xbox One is on the top shelf. You can see my SSD drive in the case right here. That's connected to the Xbox One. In the back back there, I don't know if you could see it that good, but it's a fan. Uh, the fan is a USB fan, so it's connected to another USB uh, power source so that what happens is if um, I leave the Xbox One on, uh, and the cabinet door is closed, I could still keep it cool. So down here, we got the Monster Power Center, something I swear by. Um, what it does is monitor your voltage levels, make sure there's no spikes, peaks. Then also it cleans the power and protects all the devices against any type of power surge. Uh, on top of that, as you can see, is the TiVo. To the left, we have the N900 uh, Netgear router. And then I got another enclosed uh, HDD uh, hard drive that has some games on it and some apps. It is also connected to the Xbox One. Um, so if we can just close this one. And then what we could do is open the uh, bottom. You can see here at the bottom, you have uh, the Yamaha Power Center. Um, um, that's for HDMI and audio. So you got video and audio through that. Uh, some connections run through that, not at, not all, but basically I use it for surround sound. Uh, down at the bottom is my home theater PC. I got a Blu-ray drive, uh, several uh, hard drives built into it, several fans, and I got a, a display on the front that monitors um, temperature, hard drive usage, and whether or not it's connected to the internet. So let's give it a shot here. You can quickly see <coughs> it turns on pretty cool. I got the wireless keyboard right here for it, just in case I need to uh, check into it. It's connected to my television, so I could sit on the couch, wireless keyboard, watch a movie, uh, listen to music, um, basic home theater stuff, nothing crazy. But what I also have is uh, a card built into it, so if I wanted to hook up television or I wanted to uh, do like... Uh, video recordings all of that's connected now it does make a little bit of noise but that's because i don't know if you can see it's a fan mounted in the back that fan is where the noise is coming from and that was about the quietest um i could get it so we close this back now <clears throat> the way i set this up is so that everything could be basically run right from the xbox one so that that way uh, you will still be able to control it with voice if you so chose. So the connect is right there. So let's give it a shot now that the uh, cabinet is built. Xbox on. So as you can see, the Xbox turns on. And the way I set it up, as soon as it turns on, the fan turns on. So you can see the fan back there. And then a quick pan to the left and you see the television and it's already on. And so then uh, the TiVo is also on. I don't know if it's recording something right now, but as you can see, um, television is on. So you can see that the, the uh, connect is also working. Now, if I say Xbox turn off. So now you can see we go to turn off. Yes. So if you watch closely, the Xbox turns, it starts to blink, it turns off. If you pay attention to the back, 
the fan is off, and then we could go ahead and close the cabinet. So that's the uh, basically my home video cabinet. Um, that's take going into it kind of lightly. Uh, there's a lot of connections in the back of it, both HDMI wise, sound wise. Uh, I have another uh, network device behind it also. Um, I'm thinking about mounting an additional fan somewhere on it, but this was my solution to be able to watch movies, play games, play music, and work because if I do video or I edit uh, any sound and video using Adobe, all of that I can control from this cabinet. So any questions or comments, just let me know. I just wanted to show my cabinet.